Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Ali and Stevie here in the studio. Meanwhile, Ian's with us from England. And in LA, Mary had to go out and buy a jersey because he's cold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, he bought that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was a choice. <laughs> wow. wow. Hey, hey, see, see, they say that bought that, but guys, take it easy now, eh? Hey, because <laughs> there's some, uh, That's it. some surprises there, too. Yeah, it's not any better, yeah, close up. No, it's got a bit of a teacher yeah. vibe to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, man. But I'm going back to school. That's the reason. Here we go. Right then. Lots of tweets with this sort of subject. Stevie, how did you rate Martinez's performance in the cup final out of 10? <laughs> He's probably solid eight, yeah. Wow. He was good, wasn't he? Eight out of 10, that's generous. <laughs> Honestly, you're like a big win. What? You were trying to odd you on the show. Didn't do Martinez. anything. Every two say, Martinez. I didn't do Martinez. Or, or Martinez. Martinez. Oh, is that why you were doing it? Because I'm saying it wrong. No, it's because you said he was too short yeah. to play football and he's been brilliant. Wow. Shut up. Tom. You punt a tone again. <laughs> he's punt a tone. You think you're sitting in a pub with your mates? How's that a punt a tone? You're sitting in a pub with your mates. That's what you said. Oh, he's been great. <laughs> he has been great, no, Stevie. I, I, yeah. I just told you, had a good game. Right. Uh, were you wrong about him? <laughs> Who? Martinez. <laughs> you mean Martinez? Uh, <laughs> Not at all. I'm not changing my mind at all. He's still got the same flaws he had previously. Just the fact that we haven't we haven't seen them recently right. doesn't mean they're not there. Okay. So there you go. I mean Rashford's fantastic, right? Yes. Right? Yes. Well, what was it? What was it like eight months ago? Nine months ago? Couldn't get a game. Right. So just because somebody's doing well right now, okay. does that mean they're going to be great for the rest of their career? No, Van Dyke's a great start? example of that. Uh, exactly. So the <laughs> Yeah. So, so that's it. Well, don't don't try and be clever every time he has a decent game. Well, he's had a lot of decent games. That's no, the he's thing. had a sp he's had a spell of good games. Right. Yes, he's had a so right. It doesn't, uh, doesn't make him Berezi. Well, I don't think anyone is suggesting that he is. Oh, I'm, just... I'm sorry, your tone would suggest that. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, that's exactly what <laughs> yeah. came out wow. of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, <laughs> I feel like no, I'm, right. I'm every back time home already. Every a decent game, then you're going to start on this part. Well, it's not a one-off game. So do you game. want me to start doing it the other it's way around? It's not a one-off game, though. Do you it? want me to start if he has a bad game? Do you want me to come in you here? You do that. You call me every time he makes a mistake. Do you want me to come in here and go... That's different than sitting on, sitting here and doing it. Oh, come oh. on. So do you want me to start? Oh, come do you want on. me to start every time he makes a mistake? Yes. Calling you up? You do that. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then in the future. <laughs> During games, yes. when he's out of position, I'm going to text you and go, out of position. <laughs> Hey, okay. that. <laughs> see, that's, oh that's, that's the stuff you don't hey, see. How big is your phone? How big is your phone, Stevie? I was on my, I was on my iPad. <laughs> see, that's the stuff you don't see. No, that's very true. You see a 2 0 victory in the yes, cup final. Yes. Uh, oh, he played really well. But then, but you've when given, I'm sitting you've watching, given, give, and Mario will do the same. But you've just given him 8 out of 10. You've just given him 8 out of 10, so he did play well. He did play well, so yeah. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is, you, according to you now, that's it. Forever in a day. He's fantastic. Right, that's exactly what I said, wasn't it? Yes. No. Absolutely. No. You dug a hole. Well, that's why I said I'm now going to start texting you when, right. he's, when he's out of position. Yeah. <laughs> Take you a while to text at that rate. <laughs> yeah, I've talked. Hey, hey, I can assure you, I'm yeah. texting uh, hey. Ian, what would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, would you like to hold join no, in for this hold nonsense? On a oh, uh, hold on, you stopped me what I was yeah. going to say. Oh, right. oh, sorry, oh, sorry, 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 everyone quiet. Uh, can, you please, oh. can you please explain to him, because he thinks it's just me. Right, okay. That when we watch games as defenders, yes. and we're watching things and, right. you know, somebody, there's a break and the ball yes. goes out and you get a goal kick and everybody... We're sitting going, well, it's a good job that didn't happen over there because he was out of position over right. there. Is yeah. that correct, Mario? Yes, because there's more people that are talking about the height of him anyway. So it's not a surprise that, that Steve brought it up. In England, everybody brought it up when he arrived. And clearly now he has turned the table and people are more respecting it. And I, and I knew the character he had because he had it in Holland. So it's not a surprise to me that this guy is playing extremely good at Manchester. Here we go. <laughs> don't quite support your point, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I'm not sure that that <laughs> you should have gone with a different witness. Ian, what would you like to do? Strike that off. Strike. I think 
Uh, I think the call would like to now hear yeah. yeah, from hey, Andy. Stevie, Stevie, don't worry, I get where you come from, my friend. I know, you I know. saying how it used to be, but Dan is just twisting it around. And Andy too, <laughs> Andy, stop it. Oh, <laughs> I, Dan wouldn't do that. What, wouldn't twist. what? What did I do? <laughs> Dan wouldn't twist it anything. Uh, uh, let's welcome Ian to the conversation. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Great, next question. I would say Lisa Martinez looks like the kind of defender to me who, who would, you know, be in tears. He gave away a goal in a back garden kick around with his kid. You know, he mug his own grandmother to stop a goal. So that's not a bad quality for a defender. There we go. Yeah. Ian's got some hey, uh, um, internet issues. Dan. Yes. I am concerned about your tone. Okay? Just watch your tone. <laughs> Is yeah. that all right? Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. See, the, the tone was unnecessary. Yeah, tone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> yes, since you, since you, let me just get my tone right. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Bring it. Liverpool legend Steve Nichol. Five league title, <laughs> Champions League winner, uh -huh. successful coach at MLS. Should United permanently sign Savica and Veghorst? Yes, absolutely, because they need, you know, going forward. Those are two players that, you know, in an ideal world wouldn't be in the starting eleven. Mm. But they've shown that to come and do a job when asked, they've been fantastic. Nobody expected, I certainly didn't expect Vekos to be doing the job he's doing now. You know, we, we all thought the same thing. I'm assuming they're going to have to start hitting long balls or this guy's not going to be in the game. Well, he, well he's absolutely been in the game. Yeah. And he's actually, he's actually making Rashford better. And Sabitzer, having not kicked a ball, which, again, was the biggest worry, you know, the fact he's not played, and then you're thinking, well, there has to be a, more than a reason of what's going on in the field why he's not even played a game. Again, you can't say that. He's, when called upon, has been perfect. So, listen, you need a squad. Uh, and to have both of these guys and the knowledge that you know if you need to rest a so-called starter, you can put either one of them in and they'll do a great job and it won't affect you that much. So, absolutely. Very good answer, Stephen. Thank you oh, very thank much. Oh, thank you, Dan. <laughs> no, that's a far better no, tone. No, that's much <laughs> Far better. Good, good. Yeah, Please don't text me. At least you're me. learning. You're learning. Please don't okay. text me. What a, what a lovely answer that was. <laughs> Uh, why does Tottenham seemingly look better without Conte? Have any of these guys been in a situation where the gaffer was gone temporarily? Uh, Mario, is it like the teacher being away at school? Everybody all of a sudden can relax a little bit? No, because I don't think the teacher is any far away from, the, you know, the assistant. He's in his ear. He makes you know what's happening. We saw the situation years ago when happened with Mourinho. He was even texting his manager while he was sitting on the bench. So it's not a surprise, no. He's clearly really close, Kante, but the only thing is that things are going well. Why? Because they have built something. This is not just something out of surprise. I mean, before we started the season already, I saw, I always said it, if Kante's mentality and character comes into his team, he's got a good chance of getting up in the top four. What do you think, Ian? I think the guy that's stepping in Stalini is doing very, very well. But I agree with Mario. Obviously, Antonio Conte is on the phone to him all the time, even though he's convalescing in Italy. So there is that remote control. Well, it is remote control, but I think it's working for Tottenham at the moment. Um, yeah, make no mistake, he's having plenty of input, even though he's not actually there. The, I'm thinking back the, to, to Liverpool. When Gerard Houllier, of course, was sick. And was it Phil Thompson? Tomo, yeah. Tomo. And this is where you have to tell your Phil Thompson joke because it's still a classic. <laughs> well, as you know, Phil Thompson has a rather large nose. Yes, he does. <laughs> you can go so, him if you don't know. And so, and so towards the end of Thomas' career, <laughs> when he was sick in the reserves, Steve McMahon in particular used to come in and he'd walk past Tomo and all he would say was, how would you make? And everybody would laugh. Yeah. And so anybody who just came into the club had no idea what it was. Right. But what it was was, the first part is, how would you make Phil Thompson's nose 12 inches long? Yeah. And the answer is, fold it in half. Hey! <laughs> so, so, from, so from the first time it started, it got cut down to, all you had to say was, 
I'm Jamaic, and everybody would just laugh. Brilliant. Because you knew it was coming. Ah, I love that joke. Uh, Google him, it's a big nose. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where a manager's been away, Ali, or anything like that, and no. every manager's come in? No. No. I, and I had a great relationship with all my managers. Yes, I'm sure you did, Ali. Yeah. It's training. <laughs> it's training where it's relaxed. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because when you... The when cat's you, away. Cats, yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's way more relaxed. It's... It's just, it's just the way it is. Right. Because every time, every time the, the manager walk, because the managers always walk out later. Yes. They don't, they're not always out from the start. And so everyone's all like that. Ah, yeah. It's all loosey goosey, you know. <laughs> but as soon as the gaffer walks out, everyone yeah. sort of goes like that. Oh, Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> if, was it, what was it like when you left Mariner in charge? When you went to hey. oh, I, can all, I can only imagine. <laughs> 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 Mario, the 2015-16 season saw Chelsea end 10th, and the next year they won the league. Uh -oh. Could we see the same thing again? Please say yes. I need this emotional support. <laughs> no, I, you know, I mean, if it goes like this, they need to first <laughs> focus on getting a team that is stable and having players enough that understanding to play with each other. If they can do that, then they got a, they got a good chance. But if not, Hey, he's trying to shoot for the moon straight away. Take it easy. Let's first right. focus on making sure that right. we don't get in the battle of relegation. Remember that, guys. Relegation is not that far. Eh? Ten points difference. No, come on, Mario. No chance. No, I'm not saying they're going to no. relegate. But I'm saying, like, don't get... Look, I played at Wigan. When I had that much points at, as Chelsea has right now, I was like, ooh, my season is almost done. Guys, hey, if they lose their next game, eh? if they lose their next game, they are going closer to where the battle is on. Do you think Chelsea should be in the battle of, of uh, where everybody's trying to survive in the league? No, uh -huh. you don't want that. Right, this on, this cool. isn't the emotional support yeah. that Garth wanted, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. The guy needs to hear the truth. The truth is what matters in life, not the uh, playing. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, Ian, when everyone is fit, who would you be starting in the midfield three for Real Madrid and why? Well, well, there's the changing of the guard going on, but I still think if it's a really big game, you're still going to go with Modric and Kroos just for the moment. Though they've left Modric out a fair bit lately, um, and I think the other player would have to be Valverde. So, yeah, there's my answer for you. But that might look different next season. Hey, look, next season they might have Jude Bellingham signed from Borussia Dortmund. Looks like they're favourites to sign him. Whoa. Mm. I like Ian's got a Ooh. cheeky glint in his eyes. Yeah, that says that. Like, oh. Breaking mm. news. Um, we got a rush. So I'm going to only ask the first part of this question, Mario, which is the best one. What was your time like at Wigan? <laughs> what was it like losing 9 1 to Tottenham? <laughs> oh, I came off at 5 1 and I managed to give the, the ticket money with all the fans paid. I made sure they got the money back because I was oh. embarrassed. Oh, what a hero. Oh. What a hero. Mario. See, that's the emotional support that fans. we need. We needed but a. We needed our fans, yeah, so that's on. why I hold had on. to come up with something. Hold on, you never told us how much it was, though. Well, well it may not have been that many. Well, yeah, how many, how many, <laughs> were, in, how many uh, were in attendance for that, Mario? Yeah. Stevie, don't worry about it. It was enough, you understand, <laughs> for the whole team to chip in. It was quite there a bit go. of money that we had to give them. Wow, if only they did that at Portsmouth, you would be a millionaire, Ian. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Uh, that no is it, we are that. done. ESPN FC back on your screens tomorrow. We'll be focusing on those four FA Cup ties, including Bristol City. Now, Bristol's down southwest, it is, uh, okay. Ali, against Manchester City. Uh well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.